Could I just ask, what brought you down here? Um, just the fact that the corporations have gotten, you know, the same rights as people, and it's just become too entwined in our government. Dissatisfaction with politics in America? Uh, you know, bring back our jobs from China. This is being billed as a neo-60s revival of uh, protest and performance, and it's not. You know, this is a legitimate contemporary um, socio-economic disaster we're in right now, and the people here are responding to it. The recent um, decision to allow unlimited uh, donations is something that's completely unacceptable. I think making all college education free would be wonderful and great, but then you also have to take into account, well, how are we going to fund these universities? And then you have to look into tax dollars. I strongly believe that we should gear ourselves away from the monetary system and probably work for a resource-based economy, get back somehow in a way where we can barter. You have to convince the central government that they have to empower the power that the banks have and take them over. But for that, that's why we're here, to convince people. So you think the central government should take over the banks? Absolutely. To say there was a Republican administration, would you still trust the uh, government to run the banks? Republican? Uh, no, no, not really. Who's controlling the information here? Um, everyone. That's just it. Since there's no leaders, uh, there's no uh, edits, there's no spin, there's nothing. Have you been down here from the start? No, I came up, uh, I got here Wednesday morning at 1 a.m. I read that uh, some of the demands are starting to get a little more specific, and one of them was uh, universal. Um, what's up? I was just actually discussing with him that this is kind of uh, a leaderless movement, but you just kind of pulled rank there. I didn't pull nothing, I'm just going to tell you I'm more educated than the little kid is. Yeah. So that, that would make you a leader of this particular part of the movement? Absolutely, that information man. Are you, are you at work right now? Yes, I am. I'm a local one plum, plumber's helper. I used to get $200 a week for 40 hours a week. $200, how are you supposed to survive on that? 9-11 has been the pretext for systematic dismantling of our Constitution and Bill of Rights. Obama's administration is reading from the same playbook as the Bushes administration. I think there needs to be Wall Street reform, but we also have to remember that one third of the city's revenue comes from Wall Street right now. Okay, One third of the city's revenue stream already comes from Wall Street. I am disgusted with the thought of giving any form of, of subsidy to a bank, to, to a corporate entity. Right. It, is, yeah. it is despicable to take money from the citizens Thank for you. a private use. Okay? Yeah. I'm also yeah. against eminent domain, so I'm being constitutionally consistent when I say that. I'm not a supporter of, of Barack Obama. They murdered, they pulled the trigger on a, an American. I find it to be dangerous. It sets a bad precedent. And uh, Ron Paul recognized it as well. And don't think that it's just going to be American Muslims that are going to get the bullet. You know, there'll be Christian Christian Americans who will get, get the bullet as well. Uh, I voted for Obama. Personally, I really don't think he's done enough in and he was dealt a very bad hand, and, and he's hamstrung. And all the politicians really are hamstrung. Um, so many of them are just not really even able to act on their own conscience um, because they're at the mercy of these interest groups because of the way that our electoral system is run. Say you're a pro-choice, uh, your abortion rights group, and you are not permitted to have political speech 60 days before an election. How, is, how does that movement get heard? Um, the internet. <laughs> what is it? The internet. Would you vote for Obama again? I have to vote for Obama again. The Republican candidates are just too um, too scary. It would be irresponsible not to. But I do want to express my dissatisfaction with Obama, and that's why I'm here today. Not completely democratic, but more like a socialist democratic a combination. Clinton is the one that took us off the glass steagall Act back in the 1990s. He's the one, the Democrat, or Democrat, that said, that allowed the bankers to do what they did. And that's exactly what they did. I like Mitt Romney. I believe Mitt Romney's going to do the right thing. You know, this is actually um, an ongoing uh, process um, of smaller events that all wrap up into a movement. And success is measured by the fact that uh, there's actual discussion about financial industry issues. 
you're not gonna do shit. It's just a lot of humbugs down here. This is a place where you're not gonna get arrested for sleeping for a night. <laughs> All these people are not gonna be here in a little while, man. Let just really one bad wind come through, man. It's just gonna be empty, man. You know what I'm saying? I still believe, you know, in the principles of America and the Constitution and, and capitalism as well. You know, you win, you lose. Now, when these corporations, these people, when they lose, they should just lose. This is life. You know, this is, I mean, it sucks. All right, great, you know? When I lose, nobody comes, helps me.